So we're still, we still have a lot of people pouring in here right now, which means we're going to accommodate time-wise as far as this panel goes, because obviously it was supposed to start five minutes ago, just so you guys know. That is my intention, and I'm sticking with it. Um, that being said, thank you guys for coming out to the Bronies Rag panel. Like, so we, uh, as, as a reminder, I think everyone's pretty much you know, sticking with us, but this is going to be a packed house. They, they closed the line, I think, an hour ago or so. I don't know. There are so many people coming in, so make sure there's no open seats next to you if you can, because we're going to be squeezing in as many people in here as we possibly can. So, there we go. Let's see. Nobody, well, nobody likes that side, all right? Every, uh, just everybody leaves. <laughs> I didn't mean it like no one likes you guys. I'm just saying. It, we were in a panel earlier. Hi, wife. No, I don't want to call you on stage. Hello. All right, folks, we're going. It's, this is how our normal projects go anyways. All right, well, it looks like we've packed people in. Folks, are you ready? Oh, wait, no, I gotta do my classic intro for the Bronies Rec panel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bronies React panel! I'm so happy that each and every one of you are here. You guys always just get right into my heart. I'll tell you right now that, uh, my gosh, what, a, what an incredible year that we're having so far here at BronyCon. Thank you all for coming out. Now, we're gonna just zoom into this because for anyone that's been to these panels knows that we, we typically get huge Q&A lines, and with that, we, uh, we wanna get through as many questions. This is gonna be the year that I'm gonna acknowledge. We're probably not gonna get through everybody's question but we are gonna do our best. But before we do, before I bring anybody up in here, I want, to, I want to first introduce anybody that's in the audience that's been on a Bronies Rack. Can you please stand up? No, you, not you. But Brony Dance Party, ladies and gentlemen. We got Silver Quill. And I don't know how she puts up with me, but my wife, Toodles! So, obviously, I wish I could get everybody up on here, but the fact is that real estate is at a premium here at BronyCon. So that, I'm gonna start introducing people up. First person I'm gonna bring up to the stage, Peter Parker, ladies and gentlemen! Looking as homeless as ever. <laughs> Next up to the stage, make some noise for Black Griffin! Now most of you know you can't have Saber without Paleo Stino! Oh man, so many options, so many choices. Who likes some uh, manliness in their lives? Yeah. Dusty Cat! I know, I, I, again, I'm so excited with everybody that's gonna be here. Folks, make some noise for someone in a spider mask. You've probably already seen some amazing animations earlier during this convention. Welcome to the stage, Viva Reverie! <laughs> and 
And last but certainly not least, someone I've had such a pleasure working with on these Bronies React, Little Shy FIM! <laughs> And with that, we are literally going to jump right into Q&A. So what I want to do, because I know everyone's probably excited, I'm going to set up the Q&A mic over here. And I ask that everybody nicely makes their way. We're going to form a line. What? Where's the mic? What? He's uh, okay, this putting mask. a microphone up here. Over there. Over there. Oh, never mind. Over there. There. Yes, over there. Be nice to them. Yes. <laughs> You're wasting panel time. Flip a coin. We did it! We did it! Wow! Yay. Ray Special, you'll be working at the DMV soon enough. Yes. Womp, womp, womp. Haley, who's this? It's Jimmy. Who's Jimmy? He's a dolphin. He's a dolphin? Yeah. From the aquarium? Oh, yeah. I don't like these uh, Jimmies. Don't be shy. Don't be little shy. Don't be little shy. <laughs> Come on now. No running. We'll get to everybody. Oh my god, I can't tell you. Announce it. No <laughs> running. Okay, good. No cross checking. No gloves uh, to the face. And no we'll have sticking. the line go along no the slapping. wall. The line goes along the wall. Along the wall, guys, with the line. And we're going to jump right into it. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. This, this, this question is for Race. Hello. When's the next episode of Mumbles going to be out? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mumbles question. Uh, anyone seen Mumbles? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> it's because I've no only one. made one. Thanks for asking. At least one person likes it. So Mumbles is a, 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 a series that I made where I literally just like... Well, I mumble, and then I drew things on uh, Microsoft Paint, and it was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. So uh, I actually want to do it with like a bunch of movies. So when I start having more time, I'm I'm gonna make more. <laughs> TBD. I'll show it to you tonight. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, anyway. Thanks. And just a reminder for everybody, we have we'll only have time for one question per person. So if you have more than one, we just oh, ask that you get back. You in should mind. do the one that everybody always asks, and go oh. and get it out of the way. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not single, so. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do this. I want that one. All right. How did you not end up with a microphone? Wait, you have a microphone? Sharing mics. What? There we go. I knew we, I knew we had extra people. Next question. Um, so how do you choose who peop, uh, like what people go into Bronies React? Oh, how do I choose? Blood sacrifice. Is it dark? <laughs> Combine with a dartboard. He just takes the darts into his hand and he throws against the dartboard. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, essentially I've been doing this for a while now to where uh, I, I still love kind of having some new faces and, and uh, different people show up and I've had uh, just an incredible track record with the people I've worked with. Um, so... <laughs> Stop. So many, so many uh, of, the, of the people I work with have been just incredible. So they've been fun. We're not going to get through more than like three questions on this, are we? Um, but yeah, so essentially I'll go to, I mean, the, the people that uh, I, I work with mostly are, are people that I, I consider friends and, and have fun with that. And, and there's been people that I've met for the first What are you guys doing? Everyone's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. They're not my friends. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Two though. available spots on Bernie's React following this panel. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What's your favorite color in the alphabet? Seven. Favorite? Chocolate. Seven. Seven? Derpy. Uh, 42. <laughs> Zootopia. Great answer. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Yes, I'd like to know what was your guys' favorite Bronies React to do? Oh, all right, we'll go down the line. All right, I, I've immediately got an answer. Uh, the uh, Halloween one for, I think it was Legends of 
but he dressed up. I know there was a couple where people dressed up. This was the only one I got to dress up in. I put on a really bad Rainbow Dash outfit where I bought like a fairy costume, like a blow up thing, and I put a bunch of blue tissue paper on it and pretended I was Rainbow Dash. <laughs> That was that was amazing, by the way. I Thank loved it. Thank you very much. You know, I actually keep a I keep a copy of that on my hard drive at all times. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment. Yes, um, for me it was episode 100 where I got to jump my dirt bike over a shark. That was me. No, it wasn't you. <laughs> what was the name of the episode where the Crusaders got their cutie marks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I hated doing that one. <laughs> Uh, probably the movie was my favorite. That was really fun. Oh, man. I, I always go back to this one just because as far as, like, legitimacy, I've never been broken as much as I was for Generation 3.5. <laughs> uh, the season two finale. I think that's when Bernie's Rec felt like it was really coming together. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, okay, we got our momentum and our rhythm here. The end. Yeah. <laughs> my, and then it went downhill. And then the show ended. Yeah. Mine is the movie because we were like reacting to like uh, a feature length thing, so that was really fun. Yeah. yeah. The motherfucking T Rex! I love that fly so much. That was my. I, I love that. I love that ending so much. I'm gonna go with Slice of Life and I'll give you one guess why. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hooves. Derpy. Dummy! Thank you for your question. You're welcome. All right, next question. Uh, it's about to his, uh, what's your least favorite? Least favorite, all right. Uh, wait, I already and, uh, answered wait, that. Wait, and, uh, I, uh, wait, and, uh, I accidentally walked to the camera. Uh, sorry. Hi. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, that's all right. The camera will Thanks for letting you. me know, because I can always adjust it later. Uh, least favorite, uh, Generation 3.5. <laughs> A- anyone I'm on with him. Yeah, same, same. Oh. same for you. <laughs> I definitely know that the very, very first Bronies reacts I was on, I did not have a groove. So those ones, probably. Yeah. I would say probably um, the first Equestria Girls movie because of the end. It's in the bonus react footage because um, at the end I hit my funny bone bad and I like am in pain and I just like curse up a storm. He bleeps everything, but it's just like, I guess that would make me not like it because I hurt myself really horribly. So yeah. Yeah. I actually have a, a, a second answer now that, I, now that I remember. There was at least one, maybe two times where I had to completely re-record a Bronies React because I lost the footage accidentally. Oh, it's, oh, oh no! Oh. I, I, like, I, I, I had to like redo jokes and like do things off memory. Oh, this, I think this was your joke I made. That was like ages ago. Though. Now I'm like double check, make Viva sure Viva Lost I, Media. Everything is good. <laughs> yeah. Like the Blair Witch. Uh, That's about it. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've. I don't think I have one I don't like. I, I, I like. I like doing them all the time. So even the bad ones are good. Is there a helicopter in here? <laughs> you know where we are. <laughs> uh, next question. Oh, I need the map. So, uh, uh, will you be continuing Brony Reacts for Generation Five? Do you guys want me to continue Brony's React into Gen Five? Can you say no to a face like that? The ride never ends. <laughs> and it, there's yes. still a lot of G4 well, well, stuff. You know, it might end up being like G3.5. Mm-hmm. Would we still do it if it was as bad as Are G3.5? Are you ready to G4.5? Do you guys honestly think that it's as, if it was as bad as G3.5, we wouldn't take advantage of that? <laughs> so yes, to answer your question, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh, it's Gold Quill. Gold. Actually, just he con- loves gold. gold. <laughs> Actually, I'm just uh, the messenger for a fan who couldn't join us who'd like to know your, your favorite episode in the series, React or No React. Okay. Ooh. Lesson Zero. I love Lesson Zero. I rewatch Ooh, that all the time. Or the t fight. I'm definitely, I have like two favorite episodes that I switch between. One is Best Night Ever. Uh, season one finale is just like, it, it encapsulates such an interesting sort of point the show was in before the fandom really sparked up, but it still played around in like a fandom-esque way. It's, love that one. Uh, second contender is, uh, I think it was Pinky Pride, the Weird Al episode. Which one? The, f- the first one. I pick- ah. yes. Well, the second one ain't out yet. Uh, we yeah. make no yeah. Yeah. Shh. Don't ruin it for everybody. <laughs> it aired today. Dang it. Uh, for me, I think I, I still go back to Art of the Dress every time. I love Art of the Dress. 
I think I, I really like Party of One because it's when it got scary. Yeah. <laughs> and the Discord episodes are, are amazing. The first two, the very first two. Season, yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say the Tyrek episode when he first Oh, yeah! yeah because that was just like... Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Trick episode, yeah. Yeah, uh, for me it's like any like Twilight Focus episode, but if I have to sp pick a specific one, it'd probably be like, it's about time. I'm wearing a shirt for it, too. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You good? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Hello. Good question. <laughs> That's a question for you. <laughs> yeah. So I bath this uh, back on the west coast, over in the west to Dusty, and game and race already. So uh, this is just to the rest of the panel. Okay. Has there been a movie that you've been to? It, how many times have you been to the theater just to watch one movie? Oh. Race? Uh, no, yeah, I've already race, answered Go this. ahead, take it. Just get yours out of the way. 30 oh. for Zootopia. 30. Oh, okay, so I was only three away from you then. The, I saw Spider-Verse 27 times in the theaters. Yeah. <laughs> you stole my answer. I was, the, the only movie I've ever been to the theaters twice for was Into the Spider-Verse. But it was yeah. Only yes, fantastic movie. Mm. Huh? We already asked. Okay, everyone good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Same thank you for your question. Saber? Okay. Oh, uh, I saw King of Monsters and then Godzilla film a couple of times this year. Yeah. yeah. Godzilla's a dinosaur. The, mo the, nah. most, the most I ever see like a movie in theaters is probably like three times, but I never like see it more than that. Mm. You, it, you, it, it, like, like that's my max. <laughs> you have standards is what you're trying to say. <laughs> mm. All right. A little shy. Do you have one's a little shy. No, I don't, I don't go to the movies that much, so I don't really have an answer to that. But if I, to, if I can bend the question to television, Breaking Bad in the office. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. Thank you. So to repeat what I said, uh, also on the West Coast, 11 times I was in the theater to watch the My Little Pony movie. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> From the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Nice. Hi guys, uh, Rugger King 87 here. For, for, from, so that's what I am uh, on Twitter. Uh, since I love music, uh, what's, uh, who is your favorite music artist? Black Griffin. <laughs> Suck up. Gabriel Brown. Uh, Christ Kids. <laughs> oh, seven dollars. Uh, my, my musical uh, adrenaline now is a band called Band Made out of Japan. Check them out. Yeah. Mm. Is it, is it, I don't know. Is, is that everyone? I uh, like Daniel Ingram. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, I've been listening to classical stuff as of late, like Mozart. I want to say mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> mozzarella! Uh, I, it, I don't have a real answer to that, but there's just so many musicians in the fandom that, like, most of them, all of them, I thought that'd be my answer. <laughs> Do you mean just, like, musicianal, uh, musicianal, uh, music <laughs> artists in general? It, yes, music artists in general. Okay, I oh. really love Mick Gordon, who did Doom and yes, the... Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, Rip and tear! Yeah, that's great. I love his stuff. I have a couple of answers. Um, uh, Lemon Demon th and uh, They Might Be Giants are both yeah. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to say Alice in Chains. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome, man. Mm. Awesome. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Is that everybody? That's, I think yeah. so. Yeah, you guys all. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Bye. Thank <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hello. My question is why didn't you do a react to um, the mid season finale of season eight? Solid question. So a lot of times when I don't do episode uh, reacts, it's typically as simple as just time. Uh, they take a lot of time to put together and sometimes we'll be working on a react and it comes out around the same time. And I also try not to wear anybody thin on the show because everyone's, you know, volunteering for our good laughs. So uh, yeah, that's, that's really usually what it is. But the thing is, is that while the generation is coming to an end and a lot of us are, you know, bummed out about that, it also is going to maybe give us an opportunity to kind of trace back to some stuff that we haven't mm. ever done before. So you never know. Now we're going to have a little bit more time on our hands, so could be more to come. Yeah. Thank you.
Hello. Howdy, sir. Howdy. Howdy, partner. Howdy. I've already said this to Dusty and uh, Gabe, but I wanted to thank y'all on behalf of the military bronies for providing entertainment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is beyond our pleasure to be able to, it, it's always so cool when people come up and they're like, hey, thank you, you know, just thank you in general. And uh, thank you and all the military bronies for uh, all your service. Yeah. One sitting next to you. He doesn't count, really. You're right, he was in the Navy. Can I tell you a quick story? <laughs> so, so we have a friend named Rob Bob who was on our Burning's React, I forget which one it was, but he like dressed up as a soldier one time and was like doing combat roles and everything. And there's a TV tropes page that lists all the different folks who've been on Burning's React. And they have Rob Bob listed, and they actually thought he was a soldier. Mm -hmm. And they're like, Rob Bob, hero of the Middle East, fought in the Iraq War, <laughs> saved 20 orphans from Al Qaeda. And it's like, wait a second, Rob, when'd you do that? <laughs> In my fanfic. Yeah, hey, that's good. They got it. Well, Thank my, you. Yeah. Uh, my question is, uh, how did you two, Gabe and AC, come up with the idea for buy everything? Oh. oh. Take this thing. All right. Oh, it's a microphone. A microphone. Um, so, I was driving home from Disneyland one night, and I was... After he bought everything. After I bought everything. <laughs> um, and I, uh, all of a sudden, I... I I was just kind of thinking of the song in my head, and at one point I just blurted out, buy everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, I forget, I think I had written it up before I spoke with you. Yes. So I, I had like a, a first draft of the song, and then, and then I'm like, Gabe, would you be interested? I can try to sing it, but then everyone's going to regret clicking on that video. <laughs> And, and then uh, not only did he help with the vocals, but he also helped with like, okay, if we, if we you know a little bit more about music writing than I do and lyrics, so, so we, he kind of helped uh, clean it up a little bit, uh, completely rewrote the whole, whole thing, so. <laughs> no, but. Uh, I just yeah. made it rhyme. Yeah, but you were, you were, you were, uh, I, was, I was excited because you were excited about it. It was very fun. So. And I, I hadn't seen the video. I just recorded the song, sent it back to him, and then, you know, a couple weeks later, he's rubbing on the wall. <laughs> The thing that most the thing that pe most people don't realize about that is that what's weird is that it was it was at a point in my Zootopia fanatic part where I realized that I actually actually wanted to buy everything. Like I was I was dancing with all that merchandise and then I left and I didn't buy any of it. And then like it was like a month later I'm like I want everything. <laughs> And, I, and it was so weird because I'm like, I literally like wrote a song that pertained to me later than at the time. So. Is this like self-inception or something? It was, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but we had a lot of fun doing it and all the cast members at Disneyland are like, that guy's weird. And the writer, <laughs> didn't the, one of the Zootopia writers see that song and say that he Jared Bush, one of the writers, uh, commented back and he's like, now you're going to make one since we got the Oscar. Like, like the, the people on the staff were, were liking it. Uh, Byron Howard, uh, one of the directors. So it was actually really cool. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Your uh, dance moves were good, too. My dance moves? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm quite the dancer. Just like Spider-Man. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, so just to trace back a little bit to when you said you're going to have more free time, what do all of you want to react to that isn't My Little Pony? Oh, there any you go. Any show, any movie. Zootopia. <laughs> Spider-Verse. <laughs> Bronies react. <laughs> End game. Yeah. Yeah. End game. The Lego movie. <laughs> I haven't seen any of those. What? Oh, oh I, I'll take it back. I've seen the Lego movie. Okay. You I haven't saw seen any of the other ones. Yeah. You saw Zootopia. I've been, I've been so busy. Well, I did, I did see Zootopia, but I only saw it once. Dusty's too busy watching, like, old movies. Yeah. I'm, I'm too busy watching old movies. He's watched one floor of the Cuckoo's. I, I don't know. I, um, anything, actually, is just so much fun to do. Oh, yes. Mm. I agree. I don't have an answer, but I agree. Or maybe I do have an answer, but I can't think of it yet. No, I don't have an answer. <laughs> you know, anything. Okay. I'll second Bronies React. I want to see Bronies React to yeah. older Bronies React. I like that idea. Oh, that, that'd that'd you want to be fun? Yeah, that would like, be really great. Is that... If we do a Bronies React to Bronies React, that you can't react to yourself. Oh. 
Basically, I, basically, if you come around, you just say nothing and you have to react to everybody else. <laughs> We're making rules now. Thank you for your question. Hello, Nora. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Back up. Hi. Hi. This Hi. question is actually not for Gabe. It's oh for my Gabriel. God. Oh. You know, you know, wait, 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 wait. You notice how she put the lipstick on and then she got the smoky voice going on. Hi. It's been two days. My voice has been like this because of this boy, okay? <laughs> boy. I'm sorry, okay. I didn't mean to. What has he been doing to you? He knows Ursula, that's what he did. Okay, so Gabe, you and I both sh Look at me, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? In trouble, Gabe. <laughs> okay, so Gabe, you and I both share a love of the Disney parks. Yes. So I'm just curious, what's been the craziest moment that happened to you at a Disney park? The craziest moment that happened to me in a Disney park? Did she follow you there? He did a map. <laughs> no. Well done. Well done. He did a backflip off the log ride and got kicked out, right? <laughs> we got... Actually, it was with you. Didn't we get stuck on the Haunted Mansion with, like, four of us crammed into yes, the ride? Yes, you all were, like... We were in an insane yeah. amount of pain. I was like, I just hope this is over soon. That's <laughs> <laughs> you, Tommy, and Race. Yeah. And we were... I, I, my, my hips were pulverized. <laughs> just I was, a, I, was like I was in the front cart. I see you going, oh! Yeah. It was. It was. It was uh, actually, it's. It's vlogged. It was on the. Uh, it was. It was during our uh, wedding weekend. We did our um, bachelor party, and yeah, and it was. It was. Who was it? it oh, was, why did the Disney folks even let you all in the same cart? It was like negligence. Oh, they didn't see us. Okay. We, we were like, we can all fit, right? And we're like, just go. And we got it was, right as it was. It was you, yeah. race, and then Tommy, who's a bigger guy. So like you're all just cramped together. Oh, we couldn't get out when the when the thing opened up. We were like, we, we it, can soup. Welcome, foolish mortals. So that's your answer, Nora. Thank you, you losers. Thank you, Whoa. Nora. That's Christian. Okay, Christian. That's, okay. that's Christian. Hello. Hello. My hello. voice is hello. My Hi. voice is very not good today. But my question for you guys is what is the worst injury you got during Bronies React? Oh, worst injury I stubbed my toe once falling off my bed. I had a knot this big on the side of my head from a wooden gun. What? Um, when I hiked Mount Fuji to do the backflip, you know, <laughs> I, I, uh, I just, it was cold, so I'm like, I don't need sunscreen, because that's how sunburn works. And so, uh, <laughs> when I got back, I actually almost threw up from sunburn. So that was fun. That's different. <laughs> Uh, my, uh, there's two, I don't know which was worse. One was falling off my chair singing, you can fly, you can fly. <laughs> or it was when I put a hole in our coffee table with my head. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of wussies, seriously. That was a pretty weak, uh, I got a paper cut one time, oh. <laughs> Where? There's, right there, between the fingers. Oh. I'm still recovering. I, oh, I, I've never been injured. And no, at least not physically. Yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can fix that. I gotta step up my game. I don't think I've been injured at all. <laughs> what about when your eyes went in opposite directions? Okay. <laughs> what about when you fell off those stilts? Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think I was... I, I fell off stilts, but I don't think I was injured from that. Oh. Well, <laughs> what are you made of? I got lucky. Yeah. Jack's uh, got hurt. I know that. Yeah, I got hurt. I already mentioned it, like, on the... Bro Bonus one. Oh, but um, besides that one, yeah, the bonus one. Yeah, whatever. Bonus but uh, besides that, uh, I did really hurt my voice doing those tear. <gasps> <gasps> I'm like screaming like that. That hurt my throat. I don't know how voice actors do that. Or like five hours a day. They don't, Jax. I don't know. Okay, I was just powering up. Yeah, but that hurt. That my voice stunt double. Yeah. Thank, I guess. <laughs> thank you for your question, Christian. Thank you. We all we love you all. Aww. 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 Thank you. Nora, that's how you sign off, not by losers.
Hello. <clears throat> Hi. 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 Hey. Hi. <laughs> Good afternoon. Mine. Who's your favorite pony? Fluttershy, no contest. Step up, anyone who's got a problem. Yeah. Uh, no shit. Coming to Brony's React. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. They did their stupid thing. Time for you and to do your stupid thing. We don't do a stupid yes, thing. Yes, you do. No, Go ahead and get don't. it over with. Rip that bandaid right look, off. All, all anybody needs to know is that my okay. favorite pony is Rainbow, Rainbow Dash. Dash. My Rainbow, Rainbow Dash too. What? What? <laughs> Every single time. I saw that coming. I didn't see that coming. Who asked this question? <laughs> Speaking of worse injuries, I got on Brody's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> see, on most like VA panels and stuff like that, if they get asked the same question lots of times, they just go, <sighs> we go, we turn it into a battle. Yeah, uh, I want to say, you know, like Rarity and stab Paleo in the eyeball, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, that's just because you want to stab Paleo in the eyeball anyway. Yeah, we all do. We know how you feel. If you guys are... If you guys are yeah, we want to we kill you, Paleo. If what? you guys aren't careful, they might not let you come back next year. <laughs> we hate Paleo. Oh! I missed something. What I, happened? I missed whatever that was. What happened? Too soon? If you're not careful, they might not let you come back next year. Oh, no. Okay, but the right answer is Sunset Shimmer is best part of why didn't anyone cheer when we said Rainbow Dash? It's funny because I actually put like a poll on Twitter because like I have like three main favorites with like Twilight, <laughs> Sunset, and Starlight. And like <laughs> Twilight and Sunset were tied for the longest time. Who won? Twilight did. What? <laughs> that purple punk? Yeah, so Twilight's Starlight really Glimmer should have won yeah. that poll. Starlight That's Glimmer's awesome. a communist and should be deported, all right? <laughs> Doesn't mean she shouldn't have won. Thank you for your question. Yeah. We should move on to the next one before anyone else gets yeah, we hurt. We have three more questions. In. I'm joking. <laughs> next question. Hello. What was the worst injury you've ever had? <laughs> my what was your favorite internal bleeding? fighting with Jack. <laughs> I made a joke in my advertisement video that we would we would get in a fight and Brody's react. I didn't think it would actually Viva happen. Viva, it happened. <laughs> it happened. Battle brawl. Uh, Welcome to America, Viva. <laughs> all right. Hello. Hey there. Okay, my question is, is just suppose the following. You have to hire one of the ponies for a position in tech support. The people on one of the calls needs to install Windows 10 on MS-DOS on a Thursday afternoon, and their names are Trevor Phillips and his girlfriend Monica. Can we all agree that the answer don't is Derpy? Worry, it's just, don't worry, it's just Monica. Which, which one do you sacrifice? Derpy. 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 We, we sacrifice Sorry, little shy. Derpy. I didn't know where derpy. Derpy. Yeah, Thank you. I knew it went wrong. <laughs> Into Hello, the pot, I'm Derpy. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Before I begin, AC Race Best, Drummer Shy says hi. Hi, Drummer hi. Shy. Of course. Now, I know this is considered torture in several countries, including Australia, and Hello. I just Eva. watched the episode today. <laughs> However, when will you guys revisit newborn cuties? Oh, no. Do we have to? Never. You must well, all against tomorrow. tomorrow. No. Well, it, it would be <laughs> during Halloween because it is, that stuff scares me, man. Spooky. Very spooky. Who, I mean, <laughs> that broke me hard. <laughs> Newborn cuties. Wait, 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 That's wait, wait, the wait, point. Wait, 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 watch. Party, party, no. party, party. <laughs> See? Thank you, everyone. Hello. Hey. Okay, so my question is this, right? 
Reacting is hard. Yeah. Staring at a screen and watching stuff is difficult. Turn right. So how do you do it? Alcohol. <laughs> You know what? Time out, because you know what? That He's makes a wrong. lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Racy is a raging drunk. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> that was no. the best answer. I Specifically, I'm actually kind of curious about Jax, because you cannot stop waving your hands when you react, bro. I know, right? I He's actually fighting he, He's just like that normally. Yeah, every yeah. time I talk, I clap. I don't even notice. I just, just clap like... Well, some, some, yeah. weird. some people just like to talk with their hands and, and do language. things. That, that makes sense. That's so true, dude. It's so true. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Good day, viewers. This is I, Nancy Casillas, Mr. 979. The way you call me is all good. And my question for you guys to the Bernie React panel is this. What was your first MLP episode you saw that got you into the fandom? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, season does that have to be episode or a clip? Season one, number one. Ooh. Good answer. Thank you. I, I'll, I, I'll, I'll admit my first, the first episode I watched didn't get me into the fandom, but on revisit, I'm like, you know what? That was a fun episode. It was Sonic Rainboom was my first episode, ever episode I watched. Um, and then I went to episode one, uh, like a few months later, and I'm just like, okay, I'm into the show. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The very first one I saw was, I, I forget what it's called, but it was the one with Zakora. The very first one with Zakora. Yeah. It had just come out, and I saw that, she's an evil enchantress <laughs> clip, and I was like, this show is really stupid. I have to see more of it. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> uh, fall weather friends for me. Woo! <laughs> yeah. The, the episode that got me hooked was a dog and pony show. Mm. That was good. Yeah, for me, it wasn't really specifically uh, episodes. I just saw clips, clips. and then, yeah. I wa then I watched the first episode, and I was like, okay, I'll continue watching. Yeah, so. yeah for me, there was this dude named Kyra Spawn. He would upload these clips like, of like, the show, and it was like um, Fluttershy saying, I'm so frustrated, I could just scream. And she went, ah, and did that little scream, and I was like, oh, that's adorable. So like, after a few months, I, well, not a few months, it was like a couple like, days, I was just like, you know what, I'll, I'll watch an episode. And then I, I forget which one it was, because I wasn't really, really paying attention to it. But I remember the specific scene that made me go, okay, I'm going to stick with the show. It was um, the second episode, and uh, Pinky is just about to start singing Giggle with the Ghosties, and like, when I was little Philly and the sun was going down. And I was just like, okay, they're all gonna start singing along, and Twilight's just like, tell me she's not. We are trying to fight a nightmare horse, she's singing, right? What the heck's going on? Like that, you go. I rewound that like 20 times the first day. I laughed so hard, I was like, okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck now, I gotta keep watching. I, I also started with season one, episode one, but you mentioned Cairo Spawn. That brings back a lot of memories. Yeah, yeah. Cairo Spawn's a goat. So I, uh, I need to throw this out because you mentioned like seeing clips. The first, one of the first clips I ever saw of My Little Pony was when Fluttershy had her deep voice and was singing Evil Enchantress. And I thought it was a fan edit and I'm like, that's pretty funny that someone did that. <laughs> so you can imagine my surprise when that scene came up in the show. She's an evil enchantress. She does evil things. <laughs> what? So yeah. So yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. My first episode was green, uh, green that color. And remember to smile. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Uh, I'm, I'm doing this for a video of, um, it's gonna be a critique of the infamous Zootopia comic mm. that's been taken <laughs> And The one? The and Arby's one? I'm thinking I'm Arby's. Thinking Arby's. <laughs> yeah, I'm Arby's. thinking Arby's. <laughs> and uh, somebody, uh, one of my friends was like, oh, you're going to BronyCon, you gotta get uh, AC Race Best, the ultimate Zootopia fan to make a cameo. So I, all I was gonna do was uh, a bit where I'm like, hey, AC Race Best, you know about the comic? And then you're just like, we don't talk about that here. So can I, can I get that? We don't talk about that here. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I have a question for Saber Spark. Oh, hi. Who? How many brain cells do you lose every time you watch your YouTube videos? I'm... Oh, your videos, not even... I'm actually in a deficit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I own oh, brain cells to the bank. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, I actually 
I'll be honest, I don't have a question. I just cool. wanted to say, um, I've only been in a fandom for like a year now, because I was about to leave Netflix, so I guess I better get around to watching it. Cool. So I did, and I loved it, and I got caught up, and I could have easily moved on by then, like I do with 90% of the shows that I watch. But I was watching some clips one day, and I saw this like recommended video, like Brony's React, Slice of Life. <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's like an hour, I guess I'll watch it. So I did, and then I watched the rest of them. <laughs> and, then, and then I watched a bunch of other fan stuff. And I guess I'm here now. Yeah. <laughs> and so... I was waiting for him to be like, and you owe me all that time back. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that's, thank how you. It, that's how it started for a lot of us. Did you have that thing where you stared in the mirror and you're like, what have I become? <laughs> Every day, multiple times. <laughs> nice. He's an evil enchantress. Yeah, he's an evil enchantress. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> Hello. Uh, I am Lance Corporal Hawk 30. I am a reactor on YouTube. I make a lot of reactions cool. uh, to a variety of things, some of it phony. And I actually reacted to the season nine opener you guys did Neat. recently. My first one reacting cool. to you. And during my reactions, sometimes um, I try to keep it, you know, uh, clean. Uh, well, yeah, clean, so that, you know, I want some kids to watch and tell one to my mother, Mommy, what'd this guy say? Shut up. <laughs> but, but sometimes, uh, I, like, I don't script anything. I want it to be raw, uncut. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes, like, when I'm trying to do something, a random thing will happen that I did not mean to do or didn't intend to do. Like, for instance, I accidentally tossed my rainbow dash in the trash during one. That's where she belongs. <laughs> no, that's what I said. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I knew somebody was gonna say that somewhere, but uh, yeah, I turned away. I turned back to the camera, tossed her behind me, looked back to see where she landed. It was in the trash, and like, oh, I didn't intend for that to happen. My favorite what? part is the. I'm sorry, but I just love how like, were you asking the question during the whole no, bit? This is the. <laughs> uh, although that was a wonderful bonus, the question is, have y'all had any moments like that you didn't intend to happen? That I fell off the be... bed one time. <laughs> I, w I wondered if that would be the answer, <laughs> and it was a wonderful scene regardless. You, just I, like unscripted, but it just like either turned out interesting or funny. Yeah, no, I think I think most have probably had it. For me, the first one that comes to mind, we have messed up this table, <laughs> uh, is because uh, I, you know, I, I do mine unscripted. I, I'll, uh -huh. I'll go into it first time, watch, and then I pause a lot, and I'm making my reactions and whatnot. Same. Um, but there's a certain joke that a lot of people will quote these days. Uh -huh. And it's one that, like, the way that I said it and everything was, was not intentional, but it was, he gave her his seat. <laughs> because I was like, as I was saying it, I'm like, I can't even believe I'm saying this right now. <laughs> uh, when we were doing 3.5, and uh, I was in the cowboy outfit, and I had no idea what I was going to do to it. I had no oh. clue. It's like, it was so awful. I'm going, what, what can I even say to this? And I'm going, wait a minute, I've got this toy gun. I'll just <laughs> clock myself with it. You know, I'll just side, I'll just go, oh, I'll just miss myself. It'll look good on camera. No, 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 no. <laughs> I actually hit myself so hard I saw stars. Ow. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Do you have one? Uh, I'm good. I, I, I can elaborate on mine because I realize when I say I fell off my bed, it, it sounds like nothing. So for the people who haven't seen the clip, my bed is a bunk bed, and when I fell off, I, like, an entire It's worth thing saying you were upside down and, like, time. a bunch of ponies fell off a cabinet. Also, Viva is from Australia, so all these spiders just yeah, jumped all over Viva. <laughs> and then a, a kangaroo started kicking him and punching him. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, free food. You see a boomerang just going around the room. <laughs> Is it going the opposite direction? Yeah, Race thankfully cut that stuff out. Thank okay, God. In our version, we had cheeseburgers, don't worry. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Well, thank you guys very much. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I was uh, curious who your favorite villains are. Favorite villain? Chrysalis. OG Nightmare Moon. <laughs> M.A. Larson. Well, well since, since you took that one, I'll say Discord. Yeah. 
<laughs> Hasbro. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah, even though she's good now, Starlight. Yeah. 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 T-Rick with his buff self. Yeah. yeah. I was going with Starlight too. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now I will say this it. though, uh, Cozy Glow's also really grown on me too. I'm like. Like, like no, like like it, yeah. She she's a I Darla just, Dimple. I love her. Yeah. I love the dynamic of the trio. It's so good. So thank you. Hey neighbor, wanna be friends? <laughs> uh, no. Hello. Hey guys. Um, I was gonna ask this question at the podcast panel last night, but as you know, we had to leave early. So race and saber. I'll ask you guys this now. I've been thinking of starting my own podcast. Do you guys have any advice or do's and don'ts? Don't. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Uh -huh. Don't. <laughs> um, I, I mean, essentially, choose something that, that you will enjoy. You know, it, it, it's, if you have a passion about it, people will get that sense that you're passionate about it, and that's where a lot of people enjoy it. Like, there's a lot of topics and TV shows that that that's the draw is the person that's hosting and, and what they're talking about because they're passionate about it. People are like, yeah, I'm passionate too. Yeah. Cool. Well, I, I just remembered actually, you, you two were part of this. Remember that panel that you did with me at uh, Cider Fest mm -hmm. 2017? I, I was thinking of turning the Not Horse Famous panel into the Not Horse Famous podcast. Do it. Because none, none of the conventions will let me have a panel, so maybe someday. <laughs> oh, now it's a rant, okay. No, no, no. But no, yeah, just do it. Just have fun with it. Absolutely. And good luck. Thank you. Good luck, dude. Yeah. Oh, by, by the way, but, but can I be the first guest on your podcast? There awesome. <laughs> now I'm not famous anymore. I mean, he already defeated Thanos. You know what going for him. <laughs> Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Uh, all right, so first off, I want to say, Gabe, I love you. You're awesome. <gasps> Thanks. <laughs> and... Uh, Question for everyone. Um, what is the best race from the show? Oh. Like Griffins, ponies, that kind of stuff. Oh. Oh. Nice try, yeah, Chancellor like, Nation. Oh. Wait, 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 what was that? We, we sober quill Yeah, up from here. the show. Like, All okay. creatures are created equal. Running up the lead. Except for those donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Except stinking donkeys, donkeys. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. We need silver quill up here. It's like, that species is. Where, where's silver quill? Silver quill, stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Silver Quill. Like what, the Griffins. What's the right answer? Who's the best race? Who's the best race best? Yeah. Yeah. That's the answer. I no can't. more. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Dang, that was clever. So, hey. Hello. What's up? So, what makes your favorite pony best pony? What's that? Well, what, what makes your favorite pony best pony? Uh, it's Rainbow Dash, you gotta ask? No, he yeah, doesn't. No, yeah, 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 you oh, can't oh, actually oh, do well, what makes it, yeah. is it the episode? We do. Or does it resemble you? You haven't been watching the show, have you? Huh? Oh, I stopped. <laughs> I'm Rainbow Dash, I never learned anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like, all Rainbow Dash's fans. <laughs> it's not like you've got a tattoo Let, let me fly already. to the castle! <laughs> I, I will answer this though. For the reason I that, that I I uh, have always been a fan of Rainbow Dash is because when I got into the show, I I wasn't expecting a character like that. Rainbow Dash was the pony that made me go. There's something wrong. <laughs> uh, some something that I like about this show. So yes. that okay, that's my actually I completely agree. <laughs> And, and there you go. Sunset Shimmer had an arc. She's not even a pony. I felt properly. The properly. You went that way. <laughs> no, I thought it was great seeing Sunset come around where she like went through the motions of like, okay, I'm still getting like flack for what I went through, what I did, but you see her become like the twilight of her universe. I know there's twilight there, but she can do a better job. But <laughs> I, I like, and also sun, uh, Sunset, a lot like Starlight too, are kind of like very sensible and get it, while the rest are kind of stupid and don't know what's going on, especially Rainbow Dash. So yeah, that's my answer. I like Twilight because she's dorky. Fluttershy yeah. yeah. is adorable and she reminds me of Gohan from Dragon Ball Z, but she actually does something. Oh, oh. 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 All right, so obviously Derpy is silly and adorable, but really, to me, Derpy represents like a piece of the fandom literally in the show, and I think True. that's great. Right, yeah. That's, yeah, good answer. 
So just just so everybody knows right now, the way the way with uh, time working and whatnot, we're we're going to be going about five minutes over. Uh, so we'll be ending this at five twenty. So we're going to be taking what? You want to cap the line? Well, yeah, the, the line, I mean, this will go without saying the line's capped. I don't know, again, if we'll be able to make it through everybody, but we're going to try to get through as many as we can. So, hello. Ooh. Speed round. Uh, see, you can Oh, someone put the ASP button on. Sorry. Have you read any fan fiction of yourselves? Oh. Read? I write it. Okay. Oh. oh. I'm not interesting. Nobody writes stories about me. Oh, hush, does it? I beg a different. I beg a different. I read some. I read some kind of cool fanfic about my Griffin OC meeting my Pony OC, and I read a part of some not cool fanfic involving my Griffin OC and Apple Bloom. In a fight to the death. Yeah. In bed. Hi guys. It's Uncle Crow. But I have to say something to you guys. If you had a My Little Pony, what would its favorite Marvel superhero to dress up be? Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Batman. Rainbow Dash would be the Flash. Oh yeah. <laughs> Twilight would be Doctor Strange. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Fluttershy's already the Hulk. Starlight Glimmer would be Doctor Doom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, guys, think about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. First off, Jax, shame on you about what you said about Gohan, but you're right, and it does make sense. Oh. I'm sorry. What's up? First off, shame on you for saying such things about Gohan, but you're right, and I wish it would do more of him. Second, love you guys. Third, would when it comes to Generation Five. Would you like it to be some type of continuation, like 3,000 years in the future? Or would you like it to be something fresh, new? Man, I just hope it's good. Yeah, I, yeah, because yeah, honestly, it's I just really like, hope that they don't, like... Mm. That's all you can really hope for. Just I, legit, though, I hope Hasbro's not like, okay, that was fun, let's go back to G3. Like, I'm praying... <laughs> if, I'm serious, if, uh, as long as they keep... I think we found a really good like place where adults and kids can enjoy it, and that's great. Keep it that way, please. That's all yes, I want. I agree. I agree. I think Hasbro would be stupid to do something that would get rid of this incredible fandom Agreed. because we give them lots of money. What up? <laughs> so, which do you think is scary, newborn cuties or the entirety of that donkey Ollie show? Oh newborn my God. cuties. Newborn cute. Donkey Ollie. Donkey Ollie. Donkey Ollie. You really? You think that was scary? Don't. Oh, God, yes. But it had Farmer John. <laughs> he terrifies me. Be strong. That's, that's Applejack's dad. Be oh, yeah, strong. for those that were there. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. All right. And then also, besides newborn cuties, what else is scary about Generation 3? <laughs> Everything. Everything. <laughs> Their faces. Yes. Oh, the noises they made. Uh, well, th thank you for your question. We're only going to be able to do three more questions, guys. So I, I'm sorry. That's as far as we were able to get through with everything. But uh, I knew this was going to be a case. Now, that being said, I do. there is something I want to say once we finish the last question, just as a one last big thank you to everybody. So uh, we have three more questions that we're going to be able to get through. And starting with this one. Hello. My, Hello. Na my name is Tark, and I bring greetings from the Brownies at Argentina. Oh. oh, nice. And, and my question is, I think it was pretty obvious until the season seven premiere, but what are your current opinions on Starlight Glimmer? One of the best, top three, S tier. I love, yeah. I love Starlight. I, yeah, I think we all really like her, even though I really didn't want to for a long time, I caved. She's awesome. Same. Similar. Ditto. I, I, I grew on me. I hated her. I, I was like, and then when they did, well, like, I mean, I, as a villain, I was like, yes. Then they reformed, and I'm like, this is so dumb. And, and it's one of the biggest personal character arcs of mine was, was coming around and realizing, no, I, I love this I love what they've done with Starlight Glimmer. She is, she, yeah, she's now one of my favorite characters. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the fact that even though she's reformed, she's still fighting the same demons that she had inside. Yeah. She's, like, she's still fighting them, just like everybody else. She's like a better Twilight. 
Next, wow. please, gotta move. I'm not gonna fight him. <laughs> Use your dolphin. Thank you. Okay, first I need to apologize because my voice is a little hoarse. <laughs> and second off, um, the first or second Brunners React you guys did was years and years ago. If you could go back to that time and tell yourselves something from now, what would it be? Go to the job. Don't do it. Run away. <laughs> Write better jokes. Yeah. I, I, would, I would just say buckle up because the, this ride has been incredible. And yeah. I, I never, ever would have guessed this was, was in the card someday. When I made the first one, I, I had no idea about, about you know, the audience that we were going to end up having. And, uh, and like I said, I'll get into that a little bit more in here in just a minute. So. Next, please. Woo. Thank you. And this is going to be our last question. I made it. Uh, for the whole panel, uh, favorite Gabe and Michelle song? None of them. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's okay, go. Gabe. Thank you. Getting Stronger. I like ah. that. Yeah, I love that dude. I like dude. That should actually be in the show. That's one of those dude. Thank dude. You. Anyone who doesn't, isn't able to answer, come see me after class. <laughs> I, I, like, I like Gabe's song as Sight on Scene, Beat It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tweet it. <laughs> Go All right. Awful. Bagel well, song. thank you. So, so like I said, that's the that's our last question. Um, so, bagel bagel sandwich is pretty good too. Yeah. But um, so, essentially, we have the last few minutes here of a, of doing a Bronies React panel at BronyCon, and um, it's funny because like for those that know me, I don't typically get very emotional, but right now I am. <laughs> This has been amazing. Ever, ever since we showed up in 2013 to bring Bronies React to BronyCon, you guys have been incredible. And thank you. Thank you, all of you, for everything. Oh, God. gonna hit me at some point. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are the serious support of Barney's React. You all have kept it going. Thank you so much for everything over the years. We all love you. Thank you for coming to the last Barney's React panel at BronyCon! And you know what? Thank you, thank you. thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. The fabulous bubble machine. Yes, the fabulous bubble machine. We love you all. But you know what you have to do now? Goodbye. Get out of here. They have another uh, panel coming up, so you must leave. But we don't love you. We will see you out there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.